Picture this. It's the late 1780s. The American colonies have just won their independence from Britain. The Articles of Confederation, their first attempt at a government, is failing miserably. There's chaos, economic instability, and a fear that the new nation might not survive. In steps Alexander Hamilton, a war hero and a brilliant mind. Hamilton is convinced that a strong national government is the only way to save the fledgling republic. He and his allies, including John Adams, push for the ratification of the U.S. Constitution. This movement gives birth to the Federalist faction. Federalists The Federalists believe that a strong central government was essential to maintain order and unity. They wanted to build a powerful nation with a thriving economy based on industry and commerce. Hamilton's vision included the creation of a national bank to stabilize the economy and manage debts. He also wanted to foster strong commercial ties with Britain, the world's leading economic power. The Federalists believed in a loose interpretation of the Constitution, allowing the federal government to take actions that were not explicitly forbidden. But not everyone agreed with Hamilton. Enter Thomas Jefferson a man with a different vision for America. Jefferson believed in an agrarian society, where independent farmers were the backbone of the nation. He feared that a strong central government would become tyrannical, just like the British monarchy they had fought against. <laughs> Democratic Republicans, 1790s to 1820s Jefferson and his close ally James Madison formed the Democratic-Republican faction. They championed states' rights and a strict interpretation of the Constitution, arguing that any powers not explicitly granted to the federal government should be left to the states. While Hamilton looked to Britain, Jefferson's Democratic Republicans were inspired by the French Revolution. They saw it as a fight for liberty and equality, much like their own revolution. This led to sharp disagreements between the two factions over foreign policy. The 1790s were marked by intense political battles. The Ratification of the Constitution Federalists like Hamilton and Madison wrote the Federalist Papers, arguing for a strong central government. Their efforts paid off when the Constitution was ratified in 1788. The Jay Treaty of 1794 Negotiated by John Jay, this treaty aimed to settle outstanding issues with Britain. While it prevented war, it was deeply unpopular with the Democratic Republicans, who saw it as a betrayal of their revolutionary values. The rivalry reached a peak in the election of 1800. Known as the Revolution of 1800, this election was fiercely contested. In the end, Thomas Jefferson won, marking the first peaceful transfer of power between rival parties in American history. Jefferson's victory was a turning point, and it demonstrated the resilience of the young republic. Jefferson's presidency saw some monumental changes. In 1803, Jefferson made the Louisiana Purchase, doubling the size of the United States and opening up vast tracts of land for agriculture. This was a dream come true for his vision of an agrarian America, but not all of his policies were successful. In 1807, Jefferson passed the Embargo Act, hoping to avoid war by cutting off trade with Britain and France. The move backfired, devastating the American economy and leading to widespread opposition. By the 1810s, the Federalist Party was in decline. The War of 1812, often called the Second War of Independence, saw the Federalists opposing the conflict. Their dissent reached a critical point at the Hartford Convention in 1814, where some Federalists even discussed secession. This perceived disloyalty severely damaged their reputation. Era of Good Feelings 1816 to 1824. After the war, the Democratic Republicans dominated American politics, leading to a period known as the Era of Good Feelings under President James Monroe. This era was marked by a temporary decline in partisan conflict and the dominance of the Democratic Republican Party. Monroe's presidency saw a sense of national unity and purpose, but this peace would be short lived as new issues and divisions emerged. So, there you have it. The early political factions of the United States were born out of differing visions for the nation's future. The Federalists, with their strong central government and commercial focus, 
and the Democratic Republicans, with their agrarian ideals and emphasis on states' rights, set the stage for the complex political landscape we see today. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more intriguing stories from lazy learners. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.